Hi, good morning. Today is the 10th of June. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. For lack, lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. God wants us to become these advisors. And with his wisdom in our hearts, we are going to guide people. The word guidance here comes from the word that they used for boats, when they were guiding boats through the waters. A ship was guided to go where, where people wanted it to go. That's the sort of guidance that God wants for us. The wisdom of, uh, gui uh, to guide people the right way. Otherwise, they will fall. Not just a nation, but also the church will fall when there is no wisdom. And this wisdom is the wisdom that comes from God to guide us. But we are going to become these advisors because victory is won through many advisors. The word, the expression, one another is extremely important and it defines the church in the New Testament. To love one another, to help one another. There are loads of one another's in the New Testament. As iron sharpens iron, iron so one person sharpens sharpens another. And that's again the way God is going to do. That's the way he did in the Old Testament and also in the New. People helping people. People sharpening people. Just like iron. Because, you know, sometimes it hurts. It does hurt. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. So kisses are worse than wounds here when they, cannot, they don't come from a wise person. Jesus had to talk to Peter in a very, very hard way at the end. Because Peter had the ups and downs. He knew all the answers and sometimes he, he wasn't the, the good one. He was there for everything. But the moment when Jesus needed him, when his friends needed him, he wasn't there. And he denied even knowing the Lord. So Jesus will have to treat with Peter after resurrection. So Peter, the, the, the fisherman, the sinner, would become an apostle. It's interesting because in French, b both fish, fish, fisherman and sinner is the same word. They're not the spelling, but you just say it's the same word. Un pêcheur et un pêcheur. So that pêcheur, pêcheur, was going to become an apostle. But for that, things that were wrong in Peter's lives, they had to be treated. So he would become an advisor filled with God's grace, filled with God's wisdom. So sometimes Jesus is going to be hard with us if we are going astray. Because we need guidance. Because we are the people who are going to become these advisors. The world needs, needs us, and also the church. The Spirit clearly says that in latter times, later times, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars, hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared up as with a hot iron. They forbid people to marry or not order them to abstain from certain foods which God created to be received with, with thanksgiving by those who believe and who know the truth. The Spirit clearly says, says Paul in 1 Timothy 4, 1-3, that at the end of times, people will abandon their faith and fall in deceiving spirits and eating and things taught by demons. So we're not talking about these things here when you read Pro Proverbs chapter 11, verse 14. We're not talking about lies. We're talking about the truth, the truth that comes from God. And Jesus himself said, I am the truth. So if you want to become advisors, we have to let the Holy Spirit work in us and fill us with God's wisdom. Because that's the wisdom that we are going to share, not the lies that people want to hear. We are going to share the word of truth. God bless you.